morning. So I'm in a different setting as you can see from the background. I'm actually at Andrew's parents' house because our internet isn't working and I needed to do some things with the internet. Um, but I wanted to, like I actually, while I was doing that, I got a little bit hungry. So I cut open this watermelon. I'll probably eat the whole thing because I'm pretty hungry today actually. Um, that's probably because we have been doing exercises for the past few days. So um, I think that's making me a little bit more hungry than I have been. Um, but anyway, just wanted to say that I'm having watermelon <laughs> and breaking my fast with some watermelon today. Um, and I did get some more tomatoes and bell pepper because I'm obsessed <laughs> with eating that right now. I don't know why, but I really enjoy eating that for my second meal of the day. So that's what I'm gonna have, I think. Um, if I don't, I will definitely let you know. Um, and I did have a coconut water actually today because this morning Andrew and I went for a jog, a 20 minute jog, and uh, when we got back, I decided to have a coconut water. So I had a coconut water, and now I'm having a watermelon. So that's pretty much it for the day. Um, I'm just gonna do a few things, and I actually might go with my sister-in-law, Annabelle, to go pick up her trailer, but I haven't figured that out yet. But if I do, I'll let you know for sure. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this, so. a really good one. I did really good. It's really nice when you pick out a really good watermelon and this is a really good one. Okay, look at this. How cute is this? How cute is this? It's so little and Annabelle is in the car waiting for me because they stopped but look how cute it is. Oh my gosh. It's so little. <laughs> okay everyone. So earlier I had the watermelon and I sort of filmed it but I didn't really because I was with my sister-in-law so I didn't quite eat and film the way I wanted to but that's okay. Um, so anyway I ate the watermelon but I think since we've been doing more like workouts and being more active I've been feeling, I was feeling really hungry tonight so I had, I have my tomatoes and pepper with some green onions and this time I have some pea shoots. Andrew actually brought me some pea shoots which I thought was really sweet so I'm going to eat them up and I put some lime juice on there and it smells and looks delicious and I cannot wait to eat right now. So I'm just going to put my meditation music on that I listen to when I'm eating. I did. I put it on the, yeah. Okay, Shnikes. Desktop. Um, this one. Um, do you have the speaker down there? You do have the speaker down there, right? I have right now. It's okay, I think it's fine. Alright, so anyway, I have this big salad bowl today. So I have this big salad bowl today and I'm going to express gratitude and eat my food with a sense of gratitude and I'm really excited. Incredible. 
It was really good. I'm so grateful that I have access to tomatoes and peppers and all those things that wouldn't typically be growing here right now. Obviously, when they're they're local, oh my gosh, the tomatoes are like, it's like night and day, but the fact that I even have access to tomatoes, to tomatoes, the fact that I even have access to tomatoes right now is just like mind-blowing and amazing. So I'm very, very grateful for this meal that I've had tonight. <gasps> oh, so good. We'll still have, we'll, we will see how I feel. I might uh, drink a coconut water a little bit later after some of this digests a little bit. Um, I ended up having a coconut water last night um, after I ate my um, tomato pepper mix. Um, so yeah, I was just so hungry when I got home. I had to really, just now I had to really remind myself to slow down and no one's going to be taking the food away from me. And I'm pretty sure I ate that a little bit faster than um, necessary, but it's okay, you live and you learn. And right now I've been going to the bathroom, so that's good. I had two bowel movements already today. Hopefully I'll have another one. We'll see. Um, but if not, I'm not going to be too worried about it because that doesn't help, obviously. Um, but yeah, so I am. I have been going to the bathroom, which is great. Um, and I'm actually. Just, I just have a few more days until I fast. Start fasting again. So um, yeah, um, it's exciting. I'll only be fasting for nine days, not again 108 but just just a nine um, and I want to just do a few cycles of that I'm planning to do that all the way till August but we'll see how that goes um, I'm not sure if I really want to do it all the way till August but um, I don't know it'd be interesting to see what happens and how my body reacts and how I feel so yeah we'll see how that goes I'm excited though to start taking the tinctures again and the psyllium husk. I mean, the psyllium husk is not really my favorite thing to have, but it's not that bad um, either. There are worse things that I've eaten in my entire life. So, anyway, that's pretty much it. I think um, right now I'm, I've been deciding whether I want to see just like a silly kind of movie and get ready for bed, or wanna, if I want to start one of those new books that I got. Um, and I haven't really decided yet. I think I'm leaning more towards the book than the movie. Um, so we'll see. But anyway, um, thanks for watching. If you are liking these, please like the um, please like the videos. And also, if you're liking my post fast videos, please give them a thumbs up. And also comment. Please let me know if you have any questions or anything like that that would be super helpful um, and the reason why I'm just I'm doing this is because I find that a lot of people don't really document after they break their fast or what they're doing exactly after the fast and that's what I wanted to document because I think for me yes I'm really loving the way I'm feeling like this but feeling by doing this the way I did the fast, the way I'm eating now, I, I really, really am enjoying the way I feel and I feel way more at peace with myself. But there's also a, a part of me that does want to eat some cooked food on occasion. Um, and I know there's a lot of people who are like, oh, why eat cooked food? That brings you down, it brings down your energy, brings down your vibrancy. But I just wanna see, honestly, how I'm affected by food um, that's cooked when I bring it into my diet. Because I haven't had any cooked food, like whether it be steamed or baked or anything, um, since o October of 2017, like mid-October. I think I started October 13th or 14th of 2017. So I haven't had any cooked food at all, you know, except for the cooked grape juice. But so I'm just, I'm, I'm really just curious to see how my body will react to that. But obviously, right now, I don't want to even 
I don't even want to try that because I feel like my body's really working to clean itself out, to detox a lot of things, and I want to get to a good place before I feel comfortable doing that. Um, Cause I don't know, I feel a little bit conflicted, honestly. Um, eating just completely raw versus um, whole food, plant-based diet, like a like a cooked whole food, plant-based diet, and just like completely raw. And I understand, like I've read, like I've read Arnold Ert's book. I've read, um, I think his name is Epi, 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 Epigram or Epigram or something like that. Pandora's Box: uh, What to Eat and Why. I've read that one. Um, so it's just like I've read a few, of the, like I've read those, and I understand like what they say causes mucus and obstructions and all that, all of that. Like I really understand that, but. I also have read Medical Medium books, like Anthony William books. So I read the Medical Medium book, and I have his other two. I read some of the second one, but I haven't read the thyroid one yet. But it's just interesting because I've seen so many people get really good results, and they they do. I mean, obviously he does say mostly raw, like he says lots of fruits, fresh fruits and vegetables. He does say that, but he does include some cooked meals too. So I'm just curious to see what works for me and what I feel the most comfortable with and you know I'm obviously going to take into account how I'm feeling you know there's I know that um, in the master fast system they say like eventually you'll get to a point where you don't even have mucus when you wake up in the morning like there's no mucus that comes out and like every morning when Andrew and I go for our walk I have all this mucus and I'm just like spitting up mucus and you know obviously there's things that still need to be cleansed from my body and I totally totally get that and that's why I'm really making an effort to stick to this hybrid and not eat any cooked food or stray like I haven't had any salt I haven't had any sauerkraut I really miss sauerkraut and olives you know and I I want to eat those but obviously not right now I want to keep it as simple as possible to just help my body really clean out everything because I just want to get rid of all the toxicity in my life and all the backed up things that I've had from my childhood but um yeah, that got me on a tangent, obviously. Uh, but I don't know if this is something that I want to continue forever. So we'll see. Because the thing is, like, how would I... I don't know unless I try something different. You know, this is something that I tried, and I did the 108 days. And I know from experience, from, like, reading other people's experiences, when they start to eat other things, like the cooked food, then they start to eat, eat other things, and then it kind of goes down the cycle, and then you kind of end up where you were before. Um, so I don't want to go back there. Like, I don't want to go back to where I was, but I didn't necessarily think the food that I was eating was completely unhealthy and horrible for me. Like, I didn't really think that. I just feel like maybe that my body has been so backed up from so many years of, you know, not treating it well and things like that, that I wasn't able to utilize the nutrients in those foods. I mean, this is just my thought, my opinion and I want to experiment with myself. Like everyone has their own opinions and their own experiences that they've done already or you know, from their personal experience. But I want to have my personal experience because then I could be like, yes, I want to live this way forever and just fast all the time and you know, whatever it may be. Or you know, I really like fasting but I don't want to fast all the time. Like I want to fast like twice a year or something like that, you know? So that's something that I'm working out with myself. <laughs> um, and I know in the protocol they do say to keep it as simple as possible, like eat mono meal fruit meals. But sometimes for me, I don't know about anyone else, but the fruits can be like a little bit intense and like very sweet all the time, which is why I'm really enjoying this like tomato pepper dish because they're a little bit more savory tasting to me. And the lime juice just makes like the lime juice and the tomato, I don't know, it's just like this salty, delicious taste to me. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying that. So, um, this might be not in a what I eat in a day post fast part of the video, but we'll see. Um, I just wanted to mention that, but on that note, I'm going to head out for now. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't, you can also give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. Um, but just leave a comment. Let us know what, how I can improve or let me know how I can improve. Or if would you like more information or would you like more resource of resources of where I got my information from or what, 
you know, anything like that. And also you can subscribe to our channel if you are liking our videos and you want um, to get notified when we do post new videos. Um, Andrew and I are posting a little bit separate videos. This is a specific playlist that is dedicated to my um, eating habits after I've completed a 108 day fast. So that's what these videos are. And we do eventually want to be putting up some more videos of like our tiny house, where it is now from where it was before, because I know a lot of you are following us because of our tiny house. Um, and also, you know, I have some ideas of some videos um, that we want, that I want to do, and I hopefully Andrew would like to do it with me. But anyway, uh, I'm going to go now, and I'm going to stop blabbing. And I hope you have a wonderful night and enjoy your last meal of the day. Enjoy your first meal of the day tomorrow. And yeah, much love. I'm having a coconut. It was cracked, so Andrew put it in a little bowl. Just the coconut water. And then I'll really be done for the day. Oh, so good. So good. Every time it's so good.